What's going on guys, Peyton Smith here, and today we are doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the best website builders out there. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know, whether you're a small business owner, an agency owner, a web designer, we're gonna cover it all, let's get started. What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your web design business, or how to improve your website to bring more sales, more traffic, make sure to click below and subscribe. I've got new videos coming out each and every week and I don't want you to miss them. Now today we're covering a really fun topic because there are literally unlimited amounts of website builder tools out there and it's easy to get caught in the mix and feel like we have to continually jump from one platform to another. And so whether you're just getting started or you're looking for a new platform, this video is gonna break down everything you need to know about the best platforms out there to build websites. So whether you're building a site for your own business, whether you're an agency owner or web designer that's building sites for your clients, we're gonna cover everything that you need to know to make sure that you're in the right place using the right software and that you're gonna be able to scale your business easily, quickly, and efficiently. Now, as I jumped into this topic, there were literally endless blog articles about the comparisons of the Wixes and the WordPresses and Squarespaces and Webflows and Weeblies and the, literally the list is endless and it was super overwhelming. And so what I did is I began to compile all the information from all these comparisons, all these charts, all of these tests, and I put together what I feel like is the most accurate comparison of all of these different platforms. So you're not gonna have to go read all these different articles, but what I've done is I've compiled all of this, and as I go through this with you, I'm gonna show you all of the most important aspects of choosing a website platform and what you need to be looking for when you start using a new one. Now, through all my research, I found what I feel like was the most accurate graph, but it didn't have everything that I needed. And so first and foremost, I wanna give credit to the builder of this graphic and, and of this comparison chart. And so I'm gonna put the link down below because I don't want them to feel like I just stole this chart and used it for my own benefit. But what I've done is, once I found this chart, I jumped into the source code and I added a few additional website builders because I felt like it was important that they were in there so you could see the side-by-side -side comparison. And so this is gonna be different than what you find in that link below. And I use a little bit of source code magic to make it look the way that I wanted it to look. But throughout this video, you're gonna see everything that you need lined out perfectly so you can make an educated decision. So let's dive into it. All right, guys, so we're diving right into our comparison chart. And the first thing that you're going to notice is I have already narrowed this down to just five different website builders. And these are, I believe, the five most common, the most powerful builders um, I know there are a lot of others out there, but these are the ones we're gonna talk about because if you wanna take your website to the next level or be able to build a website that can really enhance your business, this is where you're gonna wanna be. So we've got Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, WordPress, and Webflow, okay? Now, like I mentioned before, I jumped in here and I added a couple of these businesses to this um, comparison chart that was already up. But what you're gonna see here is the overall rankings are pretty telling of where you're gonna wanna land when choosing a builder, right? Webflow is coming in at a 4.9. Um, you've got your Wix at 4.7. WordPress also came in at a 4.7. Square, Squarespace at 4.3 and Weebly at 4.1. Now, for those of you that have watched my videos, you know that I am a diehard Webflow user. And I think it's important that you know that this is not a sponsored video. I feel like this is somewhat unbiased because I have used all of these other builders before with the exception of Weebly. I have very little experience in Weebly. Um, and for this, I took from a lot of different charts, a lot of different rankings and ratings, just to make sure that this was an unbiased comparison. But I feel strongly that Webflow, WordPress, and Wix are going to be your best options. And I'm gonna tell you why. Now, as we drop down, you can see that we've got the best four award. Now, a couple of these awards, awards were given by me. Others were already in this comparison chart. And so what you're gonna see is Wix was rated best overall website builder, and I don't really have any qualms with this. I feel like that is a pretty fair assumption that Wix is going to give you kind of a broad range of everything that you might need to build a website, whether you're a business owner. Um, I know a lot of freelancers that are building client sites in Wix. And while this is frowned upon by some freelancers or, or website experts, this is not a bad place to be, okay? 
Um, Squarespace won a dream for creatives. Now, this was an award that I didn't necessarily agree with because I feel like Squarespace has limited design capabilities, but you can take that for what it's worth. Um, Weebly, best for small businesses. Again, Weebly is a great option for people that kind of want to plug and play, get your business website up quickly. WordPress, the best in-depth builder. And this comes with a couple of asterisks below it because while this is the best in-depth builder, it is going to be by far the most difficult to learn. And we'll talk about that later. Webflow wins the award for best for agencies and freelance designers. And this is why I use this for all of my website builds. I feel like this has the best setup, the best, um, the best software, the best tools for you to scale your freelance agency. And again, we'll talk about that more down the road. But so much of that comes down to ease of use. And so you can see our ease of use rankings. Wix obviously ranking very high. It is known for its ease of use and, and you can hop right in and start building right away even if you don't have any experience. Um, Squarespace, Weebly, and WordPress ranking a little bit lower and you'll notice that Webflow has a broader range um, of ease of use starting at a 3.5 all the way up to a 4.6 and the reason for this is there certainly is a learning curve to Webflow. Now once you learn it, I do believe that you can literally build anything you want faster and more efficiently and more beautifully than in any other builder. And so that's why you can work your, your way all the way up to a 4.6 where you're going to have complete control of everything and it's going to be pretty easy once you understand it. The next thing we've got is websites power. Now this isn't super important, but I think we can all agree that WordPress hosts a crap ton of websites and there is a reason for that. However, I do believe that some of these other software um, website builder tools are kind of coming in and capitalizing on the things that WordPress is lacking, which is something that I love to see. Um, and one of those biggest things is ease of use, right? So as we go down, design themes, you're gonna find templates and themes within all of these different builders. You're not gonna have a hard time finding um, any of these themes that you're gonna wanna use to make the building process easier, right? Now, all of these themes are responsive. Um, they're mobile responsive. That's just something that is, is pretty typical. However, the mobile editor is something that I found really, really interesting. And that is um, when you're designing your website for obviously what it looks like on a desktop, but more importantly, you're gonna want to um, adjust or, or affect or control the way that the design looks on a mobile device. And it had in this chart that Weebly is one of the only ones that doesn't really have a mobile editor. It uses kind of AI, as far as I understand, um, to basically build your mobile version for you. And correct me if I'm wrong, um, drop it in the comments if I am wrong on that. But from my experience, both Wix and Squarespace and WordPress still have fairly limited control over the design on your mobile versions unless you are a whiz at really diving in and, and, and editing code or using plugins or whatever it is, it takes a lot more work. And that is something that I appreciate about Webflow is you have 100% control over your mobile version, over your iPad version, your desktop, and they've even added larger desktop sizes. So like my widescreen right here, you're gonna be able to see what that site looks like on a screen that is ultra wide. Um, this just gives you so many capabilities. And if you wanted, you literally could build a completely different site in mobile um, than it is in desktop. And, and there's really no reason why you'd wanna do that, but that's just an example of how powerful the design control is in Webflow. So as we go down, um, we're talking about design flexibility and you can see that Webflow, I feel like outranks all of these, both in mobile and desktop versions. Um, and, and you're gonna kinda go down from there. The Wix Squarespace ranked fairly well. Weebly and WordPress did um, a bit more poorly. And again, there might be some of you that are WordPress wizards out there and you would disagree with me on this, but this is for the general public. Now jumping into the pricing plans. The only one of these that offers a free trial is Squarespace. All of the other ones though, you're gonna be able to build out your site on a temporary domain and then you're not going to have to pay anything until you connect it to a live domain and you publish the site. And then obviously you're going to have to pay site hosting. Um, so your entry plan, your monthly, um, you're looking at fairly the same price for Wix, Squarespace, and Webflow. Weebly and WordPress are significantly cheaper and while I believe you may be sacrificing in the quality or what you're getting out of that monthly hosting or that website, for a lot of you, this may be a deal breaker. And so if you're looking for the cheapest website to have a website live every month and only pay a couple bucks a month in hosting, 
uh, WordPress and Weebly are going to be great fits. And then you can see the most popular monthly charges. Uh, for example, some of these have different options that include CMS or additional plugins or whatever that might be. So you can pay more than that base price, okay? So as we go down to the features, free custom domain, most all of them except for Webflow offer that. SSL security offer SEO control, very, very important. I feel like WordPress and Webflow rank the highest. They both got five pluses. Um, Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace a little bit lower. I have heard that some of these have a harder time ranking on Google. This may just be speculation, so take that for what it's worth, but I have had the most success ranking websites that are built in WordPress and Webflow. So you're gonna be able to export your site, export the code and, and host it somewhere else, um, restore your, your website so you're gonna have backups, most all of those except for Weebly. Um, email service, this is important, all the Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, WordPress, they all have plugins that can do this and, and Webflow does too. I feel like it's not quite as seamless yet. Um, however, I have a email service connected to a lot of my websites through Webflow and I just use a third party, which again is what most of these are doing. And then multiple editors. These are the amount of people that can have access to your websites and be editing. For example, when I have um, my designer that wants to get in and make edits to the site, we can both be in the Webflow account at the same time. Um, blogging, most all of these ranked really well. E-commerce, all of them have um, the ability to, to sell items on the website. Newsletter creator, Webflow was the only one that didn't. Again, lacking a couple of those additional plugins or features, which I'm hoping will come soon. But if that's something that's important for you, um, you're gonna wanna look at one of the other options. Membership creator, all of them passed. Email um, support, phone support, live chat, form knowledge base. Most all of them have some sort of support that's going to make it easy for you, okay? So as we dive in again to these final rankings, um, you're looking at Webflow being your number one choice. And again, I don't want you to feel like this is a biased review, but I have spent years and years and built hundreds of websites, and without a doubt, Webflow is going to give you everything you need to build the most incredible websites. Now, if you are looking for websites that need to have all sorts of, of calendar plugins and um, chat plugins and email responders and, and all of these different things and you want it to work in one like one machine and all in unison i'm going to say that a wix a squarespace or a wordpress are probably going to be your best bet again webflow has those features but you're going to have to bring in additional third-party plugins um, and it is going to take some extra time to figure out how those integrate and how they work but at the end of the day you're going to be happy with any of these different website builders. But again, I would tell you if you are a freelance web designer that wants to build a successful web design business, even if you're offering other services, um, monthly services like SEO, reviews, um, ads, whatever that may be, Webflow is going to give you the most potential to scale and scale quickly. If you're a business owner, you are gonna wanna go with the Wix, Squarespace, or Weebly. Um, yes, you could dive in and learn Webflow if you wanted, which I feel like everyone should know how to do it because it's such an awesome tool. However, those three, Wix, Squarespace, and Weebly, are going to be great fits for you. Now, the last thing I'll do is say my piece when it comes to WordPress. I know so many of you out there are diehard WordPress users, and there is a reason that WordPress is the most popular website builder out there. It has so many features and functionality, and you're gonna be able to do virtually anything that you wanna do. However, I feel like you are going to sacrifice with the learning curve. You're gonna to have to spend a lot of time to learn and understand it. And while there are a lot of benefits to understanding WordPress, I believe that these tools are meant to make our lives easier and so why not choose the ones that have all of the features but that are going to get the things done that you need done. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks so much for watching. As you're diving into these new website builders and you have any questions, please comment them down below, send me a message, whatever you have to do. Um, I'm here to help you get into the right builder for you and be able to scale your business no matter what it is. Thanks so much for watching and we will catch you in the next video.